Was goody, was goody, was goody. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's your man's Flacco. It's your boy, Easy. If this is your first time watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell, baby. Yes, sir. You too. Yes, yes sir. sir. You already know. You already know my people's in the house, man. We got Asia's Latin Town, but before we get into this, make sure you guys go check out my new song. I know one of you Hispanic. Go check out my new song. He's a snippet. Latina, I'm only guys Hispanic in the house. Make sure you guys go click that link description down below, man. And shout out to the Filipinos out there. You know what I'm saying? Showing sure, sure love. This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be interesting. I know you guys. Uh, so a lot of you guys commented that you guys want us to react to a Filipino speaking Spanish. Here we go. You already know. And I like uh, you know this 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 vlogger is very famous. Um, he's he's vlog he's he does vlogs everywhere like all around the world. So uh, scroll down a little bit. I don't know. I forgot his name. So shout out to Drew Binsky. 3 million. I mean, 3 million subscribers. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys go click the link. All platforms. Follow us on the gram right here. Flaco Capo. EZ7. I just posted a new video. Go support. Comment. Without further ado. Let's get it. it. Tres. Buenas tardes. Desde San Ponga, aquí para conversar chavacano. What you're hearing is the only Spanish Creole language in Asia, the city of Zamboanga, to be exact. <laughs> High five. Hola. Oh, it's a small part, right? Small part, yeah. Bienvenidos in Zambanga. Muchas gracias. Um, ¿Qué tal? Muy bien, ¿y tú? Uh, muy bien. ¿Entiendes español? Yes, sí. It's been years since I wanted to visit Zamboanga, not only because it has the coolest name or a unique location in the southwestern point of the Philippines, but I've always been drawn into its culture. This one is called Tulay Tum and um, it's made of leaf, uh, leaf and um, burnt coconut. Yeah. I've never, oh. never seen burnt coconut meat before. Mm, it's spicy. The natives here are called Chabacano and their mother tongue is similar to Spanish. It's crazy being here. But notice how they don't say they speak Spanish. They say that it's similar to. Mm -hmm. And also somebody said it's a it's a Spanish dialect. So obviously it's gonna be a, it's not gonna be your full like direct Spanish. Yeah. Like you won't have like like you'll have a com a good conversation with them in Spanish, but you won't have like full like there might be one some words here or there that you might not understand or they might not understand from you because the culture feels somewhat like Malaysia and Indonesia but hearing Spanish reminds me of Equatorial Guinea which is the only Spanish speaking country in Africa that's true oh, I think wow. it's like a little I think it's like a small country in Africa where they they speak Spanish as well that is insane so I mean that's for us Spanish that's, is worldwide for real yeah that's how that's how much they colonize the whole, <laughs> literally the world Damn. you know what I mean because they were like colonizing everything they were literally I think they really wanted to yeah they literally colonized everything I, a good reason why the majority of like countries are Catholic it was because the Spanish came over colonized and basically forced everybody to give up their religion and and um, take up ca uh, ca uh, Christianity basically hmm. you know what I'm saying so I'm getting cultured here in Equatorial Guinea. In fact, Zamboanga is the only place in all of Asia where people speak a Spanish dialect. Hasta la vista. Anyway, not just the Philippines, all of Asia. <laughs> so how did this all come to be? In 1521, the Spanish made their way to this archipelago of 7,641 islands and stayed for 377 years. That's why Filipino culture today is heavily influenced by the Spaniards in terms of religion, family values, cuisine, hello lecheflan, and oh, language. Oh, wow. While man there you go. Oh, man. You know, I get it now because there's a, you know what? I've seen a TikTok of 
a Filipina that she was comparing herself to a you know a Latin like a Latina. Mm-hmm. She was, and then they were. I don't know. There was there was like a video. She was saying that they're comparing like the words, right? The Filipino and the, uh, the Filipino native tongue and the Spanish. Yeah. And she was like, "Girl, we the same thing, just different, different, different types of flan." <laughs> so I was like, "Okay, I get it now." Many of the Philippines' 170 dialects have elements of Spanish words. Nothing is closer than Chavacano. ¿Cuántos años tienes tú? Trece. Trece. Yo tengo 28 años. The language evolved from a history of interactions between the Spanish and the Filipinos and is now spoken by more than 700,000 Chavacanos in Zamboanga City. It's widely considered as the world's oldest Creole language and as a Spanish speaker myself, I'm completely fascinated by this stuff. Think about a Spanish speaker like him, imagine if, you know, we speak Spanish as well. It's, it fascinates us too, you know what I mean? It's like, oh shit, you know what I mean? Like, and honestly, like, if we were to, when we travel to the Philippines, I definitely want to check out this place. Hell yeah, I want to go to the Philippines, man. 100%. This, is, sure. probably, this is probably one of the first places I'll probably stay around. Hello, hola. Bueno. Even though it's a Creole language, about 70% of the words are the same as Spanish, and the Filipinos down here can read, speak, and write Spanish quite well. Cuando yo hablo en español, ¿entiendes todo? Entiendes, entiendes. Es difícil o un poco? Un poco. So the next time you hear Spanish being spoken, just remember that there's tons of smiling faces in the Philippines who would love to join the conversation. Gracias. You can tell it's like accent. It's like a little accent, you know. It's a heavy accent. Yeah. yeah. It's not like you're gonna fully like go in there and they're just gonna speak you speak to you Spanish and you're gonna fully understand everything. You're gonna have to like really open your ears and catch most of it, and they'll probably do the same with you as well. Thank you. Gracias. So I'm here with Marky and he told me he wanted to try Balut and we found the Balut, so he's gonna try That's something I've been wanting to try, bro. Balut. Do you know what that is? We're gonna see. Right okay, now I'm gonna buy it for him. Dos, por favor. How many days? I'll be thinking of some instrument. Very famous in the uh, Philippines. Yeah, you got two cameras rolling on you. Go ahead. Caliente. Caliente. Yeah, how about you? Delicioso. <laughs> oh, how's it? <laughs> One, two, three. Bro, balut. Bro, correct me if I'm wrong, because I do not know. Comment down below for the you know full like the better explanation. But balut is basically like like a like a like a chicken or duck when it's born. Oh shit! <laughs> and, but they keep the egg. They keep it inside the egg. So it's basically, basically not born when it's basically like almost being born. Almost like, born, and then they fully, kill it when it's fully there. Like it's fully like it's basically like a baby being eight months in the belly, and oh. they just keep it in the belly. Oh, and instead, they make the head, the egg hard. They boil the egg with the thing inside. Ah, I the, see. And then you eat it like basically you eat it it's like oh you eat like the you know it's like you're eating a little egg like a little duck. Some people say it's the most disgusting thing ever. Philippine, I because I watch Filipino mukbangs. Okay. Because you guys are very good at it. Some people say it's the most disgusting thing ever. Other people say it's delicious. So. Shit. Hey, it's only, try only it. one way to find out. But it's crazy. It's just like a baby egg, baby duck, or baby that's chicken. Crazy. That's inside. So you're basically the eating like the the, the flesh. Like with the bones like and the little everything. Like with the little. Oh, with the bones and everything. It's the whole body. It's basically, It's basically like a. It's. It's but dead, basically. Exactly. Oh, it's like eight months in the belly. You know when the baby yeah, eight yeah. months, it's basically formed already. It's like a whole formed duck in the egg, and it's cr it's crazy. Like you see the brains and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. it's crazy. I don't know. It has to be. You have to say it in the same together. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Go one, two, three. Yes. Wait, say it three more times. I'm Drew Bitch. Uh, no, not three more times. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Balot. 
It looks saggy. It does not look pleasing. Oh. Damn, yeah, people in the oh damn. They eat it like that, bro. They okay. Like a, so it's basically like it's formed. formed. Yeah. It's formed. It's formed. It just it's not isn't alive. Yeah. 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 That's a beak and everything. Like wow. It. Hey, comment down below what y'all what y'all think. It's I so mean, obviously, crazy. It's like, part it's of the crazy. Uh, but I want to try it. It's part of the culture. Look. Shit. Oh, I see a mukbang already. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Like I would definitely like to try it. It's it's a very famous. It's a famous. It's famous in the in the Philippines. <laughs> I I see the. <laughs> Don't worry, cause there's a, there's you know fellow Filipinos that. They're like, this shit is nasty. Like, I do not want to eat this. Right, right, right. Yeah, comment down below like, what y'all think they're of like, that. They're like, oh. But then there's others that, it's, they're in the culture. It's in the culture. Yeah, so it's like, like yo, I grew up eating this. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like, for me, like. I'm the type to try to eat. I want to try it because I like to try different things. Right. It's like, like, for us, it's like, you know, when we were little and we went to, you know, our country in Ecuador, they gave us guinea pigs to eat, already cooked. And, and ready we, go to to, eat. we go to the states, and they were like, "Yo, that shit is nasty. Yeah, eat that shit pets. nasty. How dare you? Blah blah blah. You know, it's so the culture though. It's part of the culture, yeah. But it is what it is. Like, comment down below what you guys think. This was a great video. You guys want us to react to more videos like this? Let us know down in the comments below. We got you. Yes, sir.